International Women's Day, IWD, is celebrated on March 8th, a global day celebrating the social, economic, cultural, and political achievements of women. The day also marks a call to action for accelerating women's equality. International Women's Day for me means about learning from the past, knowing our past, and together as women being bold to create a new future for our children, but for generations behind us. Thank you for watching Diversity TV Community Newscast. On March 10th, 2023, hosted in English and in French by Joe Kimbo. Edmonton Federation of Community Leagues supports 162 community leagues across the city of Edmonton that represents all neighbors in the city. And what we're hoping to do with this work is to bring different opportunities right to the neighborhood community level. Opportunities for conversation, opportunities for theater and art and games, chances for people to really recreate and play together, learn together, hear stories and experiences together and really come away moving forward with that approach of looking at Edmonton as an anti-racist city. We begin this newscast with Women's Day celebrations in Edmonton. Most of the businesses, nonprofits, events, and effective social campaigns in the black community in Alberta are led and driven by the growing power of black women. Um, where I'm from and in my culture, every day is International Women's Day as we celebrate the resilience, the legacies, the strength, the beauty, and the power of all women. That's what International Women's Day means to me. As a woman of African descent, specifically, International Women's Day means to me honoring the intergenerational ancestral wisdom and our matriarch and our matriarch leaders and the pave that they had left behind that I benefited from. With the rise of black women organizations such as the Black Canadian Woman BCW in action to ensure this trend keeps looking upwards. On March 4th, Hundreds of men, white women, and black women from across the province attended BCW International Women's Day celebration at the Delta Hotel, South Edmonton. It was all fun and tech business, as the Francophonie Albertaine Pluriel, FRAP, focused their Women's Day celebration on encouraging women in tech, spiced up with some fun performances, food, and games on March 4th at the Strathcona Community Center. Hear from one of the event organizers, Zainab. My name is Zainab Kribani. I'm Sultan Montesina Alpha. Uh, today we celebrate Women International Day. We have uh, the theme of our United Nations is um, digital and technology for gender equity. The function is uh, specifically women and technology. And um, we have today for the celebration, we sharing uh, food, music, uh, Calgary. For all home-based childcare providers or those interested in starting out, this is your reminder to apply by, Mar by March 16th to have the business licensing fee waived. As of January 1st, 2023, home-based childcare providers with six or less children who do not work under the oversight of a provincially licensed day home agency require a business license. Learn more about what is required at www.calgary.ca. The African Civic Engagement Council on February 24th at the Santa Maria Goretti Center in Edmonton presented Young Black Entrepreneurs. Hear directly from them in their own words about the Anza Entrepreneurship Ecosystem Program. Hi, uh, my name is Anna Chimaga and I'm um, uh, part of the Anza Entrepreneurs Program. I participated a few uh, months ago and uh, yeah, so Anza aims to strengthen youth and kind of encourage them to start their own uh, businesses and uh, my business was a liquor store and I, I was very fortunate to be in this program because I got access to a lot of resources, being people who could uh, teach me um, ways of how to start, how to market, 
how to um, raise funds, uh, whether it's applying for grants. And uh, yeah, I was very fortunate to have that for a long time. And uh, I wasn't able to start the liquor store because they required a lot of capital, but the resources were really, really uh, helpful. And with time, I'll be able to start it for sure. Hi, my name is Samira. I'm one of the participants here in ATSA. I'm very thankful for the opportunity. I love the hybrid model of the ANZA program um, and the support that I'm getting from Business Link as well. Um, so essentially with ANZA, I was able to really start from the beginning and look through the foundations of my business and redefine and reimagine what my business could look like and how scalable my business can become. So right now, I actually provide storytelling through poetry and prose in order to um, help women defy the code of silence and the code of shame. African Involve Festival is coming up on June 3rd and 4th at the popular Churchill Square in Edmonton. The new non-food vendors are welcome to book their spots here at africanval.org. This Friday, March 10th, 2023, Canava will be providing fresh fruits and veggies. Should you want to pick up a free bag or have a big heart to volunteer, please go to www.canavois.org. And in another development, Infinity Safety Awareness distributes free bread at 1115 82nd Avenue in their back alley parking lot, every Sunday from 11 a.m. onwards. You are watching Diversity TV. Visit Luxury Spa and Hammam at the Elite Spa and Hammam on 3333 8th Street, Southeast Calgary. And finally, the high-level bridge lights are lit every night with these special requests this week. March 6th, blue, green, and red for Gobfest. March 7th, yellow for Endometriosis Awareness Month. March 8th, purple for International Women's Day. March 9th to 13th, except March 11th, the High Level Bridge, Mutar Conservatory, Commonwealth Stadium, Rossdale Power Plant, World Trade Center, and Edmonton Tower will be lit in gold for the 2023 Juno Awards and Juno Week. On March 11th, white for National Day of, Ob of Observance, of COVID-19. For more untold community stories, please go to www.diversitymag.ca. And this is all we had for you this week. Thank you for watching Diversity TV Community Newscast. To enable us to keep bringing you these community's untold stories, please support Diversity TV by becoming a member today or get our members only specials on www.diversitymag.ca. Be the first to get our community newscast as it happens. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell on our Diversity TV YouTube channel. We're on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and TikTok. Our website is www.diversitymag.ca. And see you next week, because when it's Friday, it's your newscast from Diversity TV.